vaccinated. Uh, I just wanted to know, do uh, you think this is going to be a trend throughout schools? And uh, what do you think uh, these people are going to go through after they take the vaccine? Thank you. Well, this is definitely going to be a trend that continues. California is the place where trends start in our country. They start out west in California and they come this way. And what you're going to see, I think you're going to see two things. You're going to see a rise in adverse reactions because these kids are going to start getting a bunch of these at once. And so parents need to be aware of that. If you are going to give your kid one of these, you mm -hmm. better be aware of what the adverse reactions are. And, and two, you're going to see a rise in homeschooling, which mm -hmm. I think is a positive thing. I think we need to see more kids in homeschooling and you're because you're, you're not under that oppressive um, right. system that is basically teaching you to be a cog in the wheel of, of a giant you know corporation instead of a, a free thinking person who can solve problems, you know, with ingenuity right. and stuff like that. Speaking of ingenuity, there's a, uh, some interesting stuff going on out in Burning Man there, but it's not what you would normally think. Not <laughs> It's not girls in bikinis and art. It's the FBI using spy technology. What's going on in Burning Man this, this week? Yeah, so the Burning Man Festival happens every year. It's been going on for about 29 years, and it's basically like a free expression arts festival. Uh, people head out there, and for a week, they don't exchange any money. Everything's on the barter system. It's all about sort of kindness and shedding your ego, shedding the old self and just, you know, living free from the state basically. So here we have this, this culture out there. Well, now the undercover FBI agents are spying on the Burning Man Festival. They say to prevent terrorism, but they're also testing out new intelligence collection technology. And of course the uh, document where it shows where they're kind of speaking back and forth to the law enforcement there in Nevada, that part's redacted, so we don't know exactly what type of intelligence collection technology they're using. But here we have, here we have, you know, these people that are out there figuring out how to live free from state, the state. They're, it's the barter system, free expression. Our government is funding terrorists all over the world, but they're doing <laughs> anti-terror stuff at Burning Man. Right. It's ridiculous. It's a terrorist. I'm back. <laughs> hey, you feeling better? Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. I'm yeah. not complaining. They got me breakfast tacos and I didn't like them. Yeah. So I didn't eat. <laughs> and then when I don't eat, it uses all the sugar up in my brain. Exactly. I, I'm mildly hypoglycemic. I don't have a oh. serious case of it. And you exercise this morning, too. And I exercise yeah. super hard. Uh, I actually climbed a mountain. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, you know, hiked up one today. And um, me and Buckley calculated. It was like 34 minutes straight up, never stopping. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. The point is, is that I didn't eat and I've been up since 6 a.m., and then I just get super doomy and gloomy, and it's like torture being on air. And then you're reading all this doom and gloom, and it's yes. not making it any easier. Yes, but I'm not pouting when I'm not here tomorrow. I'll be honest. I think I have sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. No pouting. Because I'll get a massage or something. They say I quit breathing for like a minute. So I'm finally doing a sleep study tonight. Oh, that should be And I won't get any sleep, so I won't be here tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna, I plan to come in yeah. later in the show and be a guest on the show. Gucci already's going to be hosting tomorrow. And you guys are going to be in as well. But I'm not phasing Alex Jones out. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm coming in Sunday to be live, by the way. So, so it balances out. Like I got my wife here. You got to Literally the hardest working man in show business. No, no. You that are. Not in show business. show business, but as that's a saying that people in, say. In, in crazy yeah. business. Well, anyway, in, in so, so I didn't mean to interrupt you on the Burning Man thing, Jakari and Leanne and... And everybody Did you else. know I went to Burning Man back I know. in? I've been <laughs> over well, ten years ago. That's I how old to I tried to talk one of our crew members that went into filming. Yeah, I hope hey, he's. I hope he's filming. And stuff, he said, I'm going to be relaxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Well, you don't he relax at Infowars. He work? doesn't realize that the FBI is gathering intelligence on all well, these activities out there, there. So. Yeah, there's definitely feds, and there's a lot of rich people there too who kind of skirt the system. Of, yeah, of, well, of what's everything, going on there. Everything gets tarnished. Uh, anyways, the only thing I had to worry about when I was in Burning Man was somebody stealing my bike. That was it. <laughs> that was uh, which happened once, but I found it. That well, for me, I I just kind of thought this was tied into the whole Jade Helm geospatial intelligence yeah. in the human domain because here they're of course they're going to be very interested like in I'm dressing up a society of yeah. people. If you had a tie on, it would look better. This could be the new way. You know, I went and ate some Mexican food, and I'm yeah. fine now. <laughs> there you go. So T-shirt Alex Jones. Uh, you could Man, actually I'm watch like Salacious all this. Crumb that like, sits on Jabba the Hutt. I'm not saying you're Jabba the Hutt. I'm more like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> like, you know, Salacious Crumb sits there and, like, kind of just makes comments. You can watch all this on Infowars.com forward slash show. See Alex Jones in studio in a T-shirt, his, uh, his oh white T-shirt. Oh, my gosh, it's so exciting. He just... Uh, just got done eating. He he needed to go get. I guess he didn't like your breakfast tacos. Is that what happened? Well, you're working on it though. So that's the thing. If you're working on it, you know you can't really get down on yourself because well, you're working. Does on it. put on me because I shaped my body a lot of weight. 
And then these pants bunch it up. But I mean, see, I'm awesome. There he goes. I mean, I'm not super, I'm not that good. But I just have a, what do they call it? They have the skinny bodies. They have the middle-sized bodies. They have the fat-style bodies. They say big boned. No, no, no. They have the endomorph. That's ectomorph. Exomorph. exomorph What's the yeah. middle one? I mean, I mean, I have the middle type body. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. See, no, you never do. Now, we didn't get Jakar. He, he's got the good. Well, see, you, you have, have, the, good you have the body of like a guy that's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, but you're, it's your legs that are short. Because you really, you should be about 6'5". Sound like a basset hound. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the ears of a basset hound. But, <laughs> hey, we do have the guys Google Alex Jones turns into a dog. Oh, yeah. Rough, yeah. rough Jones. Or, or Alex your... Jones changes species. Tra you were trans species there for a few yeah. days. Yeah, I did get That's yeah. your new identity. We actually, we had to take him out and walk him every couple hours. It was, <laughs> he refused to use the bathroom. It was crazy here at, at InfoWars. But <laughs> it was all, it was, it was the weight of the world, I think, coming Are upon Alex Jones. It's always an adventure. I, 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 can't, always remember, I can't remember who it was, oh, but we had a guest bad. in one day. And it was the day we were shooting the Super Mel commercial with Shane Steiner. So we had this big guest in, and Shane's walking around like, like a, a caveman, caveman. with a sword. Shoulder. Yeah, and they're like, "What? What? what is this? I'm like, this is what we do, man. This is we're setting up as a, as a crazy day. looking lab, and we had dry hey, what ice. about the quarterback getting reinstated? Oh, Brady? Oh, well, Joe Biggs is probably rejoicing about that. That right was now. always a scam. Bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was conspiracy. That thing. that was just to <laughs> keep people interested in nothing. And yeah. Really, it ended up being a whole show about nothing. Sort yeah. of like a giant Seinfeld episode. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep people talking about the NFL. When I was a kid, speaking of the NFL, my parents had parties at their house. Everybody went to watch TV. I was standing in front of the TV. Ah. So I'm kind of still doing it this time. There he it is. There he is. Yeah, look. Oh. He had those those ears were surgically attached, and then we had to surgically unattach them after we talked oh, to well, him, talked the him off the... My version has more than 79 views. No, well, yeah, that's someone else took that. That's someone else took that, yeah. They looped yeah. your... You guys got to type in Alex Jones' channel they because loop. Google loves to uh, try to keep the truth from the people to show how popular it is. We'll be back with more. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Rob Dew, Leanne McAdoo, Alex Jones, and Jakari Jackson all in studio right now. And my head is being squished. All right, during the break, CJ popped in and said, it's like Bohemian Grove for the masses. And in a way, it is. There is a lot of... Uh, Giving yourself up, we're not gonna, but there's no redwoods, and then they do burn a giant effigy. Actually, they burn several things while you're there at mm -hmm. Burning Man. It's very pagan, even the way that everything's set up. It's like a big sundial, and it is. Yeah. And you know, they're just taking you know uh, the the symbols that we've had in our world throughout time. Some are pagan, some are Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a guy there that builds some amazing. Um, he changes the names of them every year, but he builds them out of the, these um, puzzle, goes to puzzle piece factories and gets these intricate looking wood cutouts that are like going to be thrown away. He collects them all and builds giant temples out of yeah. them. It's really amazing it's, stuff. It is. Cool. It looks I think like his really man, I think his name is David Best, if I remember. Um, but getting away from Burning Man, let's try to get through another couple callers. we got Gerald in Arkansas. Are you going to tell us the, def the definition or the difference between lawyer and attorney, Gerald? Yes, uh I want to say you guys are doing a great job, but can you hear me okay? I can hear yes. you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I, uh, I'm i from the old school. I was a former Marine under John F. Kennedy. Wow. So uh, I know about all this stuff uh, all the way up to now. And uh, so education is what you guys are doing, and that's, that's what the people need. Now, here's the thing on the attorney. You, look, uh, you can look this up under Google. Uh, the word uh, attorney comes from the French word atorn, A-T-O-R-N, which means to take from the people and give to the landowner. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the old feudal system. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what we're under here, and I, I hear hardly anybody ever bring it up, we're in the common law. Right. That's where the, the, uh, all of our laws are, are uh, the Constitution was written on common law. Yeah. And, and, but everybody's talking about it, but. Uh, they subverted this. It's still in force is what I'm trying to get across here. You can put uh, under uh, Uniform Commercial Code 1-103 colon 6 in Google, and you, it'll come up and, and it'll explain what common law is, and it's still in force. Mm. I'm going to cover that tonight. I'm going on the news with Darren McBreen. I'm going to pull that section 1-103 colon 6. Right, under, right. under Uniform Commercial Code. Mm -hmm. UCC, yeah, got it. Hey, Gerald, thanks. Law, it yep, go ahead. Says the statute should be construed in harmony with the common law. There you go. All right. Well, hey, thanks for that. Patricia in Arizona. They purposely make it all confusing. Go ahead. 
Hi. Hi. Um, I just uh, I called about the vaccines, and when my daughter was in high school, she is she is thirty five now. Mm-hmm. But when she was sixteen, she came home from high school, and she said. Um, today they gave out vaccinations, but they told us we didn't need our parents' consent. What? And I said, no, 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 no. I said, wow. you always need my consent. And she said, well, they gave us a choice, so I just went ahead and took the vaccine. And Jeez, they what gave was her it? the Gardasil. It was the Gardasil. Okay. The Gardasil oh, wow. Shot. And she has been oh, almost $100,000 to have two little boys because her reproductive system was ravaged oh, from wow. and oh, she good. spent years sick with her time of the month because yeah. after that shot and she spent months after she had that vaccination she had a job at that time and she would come home and she'd just say I'm too tired to eat I gotta go to bed she she had all the side effects you know that not all of them thank God she didn't die you know but right. But I could not believe that the school just told them, oh, you can just, you don't need your parents' permission. Yeah. You know, you're yeah, old enough your to make your children belong to the state. Yeah, we've yeah. seen that in other parts of the country as well. Mm-hmm. That, that is a, a horrible story. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad she's doing better. You know, what you do, there's ways to help yourself after these vaccinations, and there's plenty of people out there. I think Dr. Blaylock put some stuff online about how to help yourself. Join us tomorrow. Anthony Gucciardi is going to be in here with a whole host of health news. It's the Alex Jones Show on Infowars.com forward slash show. I'm Rob Dew, Liam McAdoo, Jakari Jackson. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Nightly news tonight, 7 p.m. Great job, crew. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, It's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism. It seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition, controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of InfoWars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th, through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, And if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this. 
but it's an important part to ensure 